So this morning I took a couple of trades that ended up netting me at least over 200% in gains on a few different equities that I was trading. And one of the things that I wanted to hop on here really quick, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a rant, because lately something that I've noticed, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this is a very common thing that I've started to see inside of our own discord where we post our buy and sell alerts on a daily basis, which by the way, if you guys want to join, use the link down in the description to get joined up. But one of the things I keep noticing is that people seem to not understand that if they make 30% in gains or if they make 40% in gains or 50% in gains, whatever that number ends up being, they don't seem to understand that, that that's okay. <laughs> That, that that it's good that obviously they, they won the trade and they made money and, and now they can walk away and, you know, and they're good, right? That's all, that's realistically, that's all you should be thinking about is the fact that you made money on the trade and you're happy with it. But for some people, and especially people who are new to trading, I think this is an incredibly, is, is becoming an incredibly popular problem, is that they have the what if factor or the um, the FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. And what I see that happen with more times than not is what happens is people will take a trade, they'll make, you know, uh, 50% and then so they'll see somebody else held the trade for, you know, longer than them. Let's say somebody else was in the same trade that they, they were in. They see that that person held the trade up to 70% or 100% or 200%, right? And when they see somebody do that, the first instinct to, to them or to probably most people, if you're not really familiar with trading, is you're going to go, oh, my God, I just messed up. I totally just, you know, made a bad decision on this trade. What, what have I done here? And the thing that you don't understand, though, is that that's not that that's not the point. Right. The point of trading is not the, to make 100 percent every time you take a trade, because if that was the case, um, everybody would be trading and it would be incredible and it would just work out amazingly because that's the thing is that you're not going to make a hundred percent after every given trade. And because of that, because you won't make a hundred percent on every trade, that's why you need to have a specific ideal or a specific set of emotions when you're trading, you need to control your emotions and understand that taking money off the table, right? Taking profits isn't a bad thing, right? But too many people out there don't really seem to have this idea in their head. There's too many people out there seem to trade without having that kind of set of ideals uh, at the forefront of their mind when they're making a trade. So I encourage you, if you've ever told yourself, oh, I'm, you know, I could have made 100%, oh, I'm so stupid, I don't hold long enough, or I sell too early, or I sell too late, or whatnot, and listen, there is no such thing as timing the market, right? We trade based off a plan, and if that plan goes accordingly, we make money. If the plan doesn't go accordingly, we lose money. But the key to people, the key difference in traders who actually are profitable long term in the market, who actually make money, is that those traders don't trade with their emotions. They don't have FOMO. And more importantly, they know how much they're willing to risk and put on the table in the first place. Right. And if they are up 10, 20, 15, 20, however many, 5 percent even, and they're comfortable taking money off the table, then they'll take it they'll take it off. It's it's not it's not rocket science. So trade at your own pace, trade at your own comfort level and don't get greedy. Don't get greedy with the amount of money that you are, you know, seeing before your eyes materialize in the, you know, in the form of gains on your contracts or whatever you're trading. Don't get greedy and take some profit, take some risk off the table. Because if you leave all that profit, if you leave all that risk hoping for a 500 to a thousand percent gainer it's just it just doesn't happen it's very very rare and most of the time it just just doesn't occur it just doesn't work out so hopefully that helps if you guys want to get access to our daily buy and sell alerts and see some of the trades that we made just this week that netted us a little over i believe i can't remember the exact number but i believe zach and i are somewhere between five thousand dollars in profit right now inside of our discord use the first link down in the description of this video it's how you're going to get access to all of our buy and sellers plus a host of other super awesome benefits inside of our discord as well hope you guys enjoy this video i'll see you guys in the next one